All righty, we are back at the field. Got the 3D printed 50 millimeter out of Vigan out of PLA plus. So this thing is 665 grams, ready to fly with a 1300 milliamp. Uh, I crashed it this morning. I printed a new nose. That's why it's not lining up with the canopy that's held on by a um, rubber band because <laughs> I uh, I put it into the ground. It, it was really windy. It was like 15, 20 mile an hour winds. Um, the thing banked right. Come on. Oh, almost. Uh, which was weird. So I have a little bit of left trim uh, in it. And I am hoping we can get a flight out of this and I'll explain later. But before my fingers get too cold, I'm going to try and toss this guy up, make sure there's no innocent bystanders in the way. I'm gonna try and throw it. Oh, the cheater hole. So the reason why it crashed was uh, did not have enough thrust. So I am going to attempt somehow to hold this thing in a way where I can throw it from the back. Uh, let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, how can I throw this thing? I don't know how I held it. I held it somehow. Oh, okay, I got it. Held it somehow before. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get this flight in. I really want this thing to fly. Uh, we will see if it, if it does. Ready? It flies. It flies good. <laughs> That's a 50 millimeter. That is a 50 millimeter Vigan. Look at this thing. Guys, listen, this is PLA plus. I printed this thing in about 15 hours, the whole thing. I'm gonna lose orientation because it's so dark right now. Uh, it might not look like it, but you can see fantastic flies just like my other one um wow i am super impressed this thing is great i mean it flies just as good as my 64 and it's and it's tiny this thing is is a tiny little 50 Oop, almost put it into the ground <laughs> because it's getting hard to see the direction of the plane. It just looks like, because it's so dark gray. Look at that thing. Flies so nice. Okay, so the reason why I said I might not get another flight in is because uh, the control horns, I should have made them a little bit smaller because it's such a small plane. Um, but uh, it, it basically, the control horns stick out uh, and they're gonna hit the ground when it lands. I'm gonna be very lucky if I can get two flights out of this because uh, I have to redesign the control horns uh, a little bit smaller. But wow, I mean, I don't know. This thing flies great. So good at a 50 millimeter scale. going to be interesting to see how it lands um it's got that uh that sit and squat same feel as the 64 because of the canard angle it actually has <laughs> really good really good pickup oh my god this thing is so cool it's like a little pocket rocket okay so 665 grams it is ultra tiny. Like when I tell you it's double, it's like double the size of my receiver or I'm sorry, my transmitter. Um, uh, I guess I should try and bring it in. And I'm gonna do a moment, one or two more loops because I really wanna get a feel for this thing a little bit more. I'm so happy I repaired the nose on this thing, printed a new front uh, quarter of the plane in like, an hour and 10 minutes because this thing is PLA plus. Seriously, anybody can print this. This is no, nothing special. You print it with uh, 
normal PLA settings, but I, I mean, I'll give you my settings for to make it light, but all right. Uh oh, all right, it's done. So I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, that was a hard landing. Uh, I couldn't see it because it, uh, it was too far away from me. Usually I like to land perpendicular to myself. Um, oh man, I should have flared it a little bit more. I thought it was gonna go nice and smooth into the ground, but I hope I get to fly this again. Oh, yep, I think I can. Control services are, are working. Okay. Awesome. God. All right, guys, listen, this thing. Okay, how do I, oh, the, did I break the nose? Oh no, I broke the nose. Oh, this is the part that, the part of the plane that broke before the nose um, broke again unfortunately uh because i didn't put enough glue in there i was rushing because it's getting dark obviously uh, i was rushing to get this thing done because i knew it was going to fly because it's it's the vegan design it's just smaller i had to make a lot of adjustments to it though i had to do uh larger servo pockets for um for the nine gram little cheap servos uh i you can probably get away with 3.7 grams i don't know uh don't quote me on that um i'm actually probably going to throw this up with a broken nose because i want to get another flight in uh let's see <clears throat> no it's it's definitely broken let me see i uh, th think i can fly it without the nose what if i put a 1500 in Let's see. I, I should have brought glue. <laughs> How you doing? I should have brought glue with me so I could have fixed this. But you know what? I'm going to throw it up without the nose and see what happens. It's not going to be very aerodynamic. Um, a 1500 sticking out the front of it. Let's just see what happens. Uh... Let's see what we can do here. So the, the plane this morning when I tried this, the plane was not getting enough air into the EDF. So that was the issue with it. Um, let's see, this thing is gonna be interesting to say the least. It's a little bit too, I gotta, I gotta put the canopy on. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. There's nothing to, to put the canopy on with. What if I just shove it in? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks aerodynamic. <laughs> it's going to give it more nose weight that I need. Uh, oh, it's tail heavy. It's tail heavy. I don't know if this is a smart idea. Um, I really like to do stupid things. Let me see, if I pull this out even further, will that, is that gonna catch air? All right, screw it, I'm gonna throw it up. <sighs> Let me just get my hands a little bit. This is so cool, guys, it flies so nice. Um, this thing is, like I said, 665 grams with PLA. With lightweight PLA, you guys are gonna have an unbelievable flying 50 millimeter. I mean, like ridiculous. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna print one in, um, in lightweight. I just have some adjustments to make. Like, uh, I don't know if I, if I can see this with my camera. There's some, uh, some poke throughs where it's uh, under 0.4 millimeters. Um, that's where the, uh, the Dubro um, hinges, the, the hinge pockets go. So, um, there's a couple little, little issues that I have to work on. I have to clean up the, um, the area where the ESC goes. I have to extend the walls. Um, oh, this thing is broken. I don't know. I want to make sure nothing else is going to cause a problem here. Cause I really want to fly this thing again. How did I hold this thing? How did I launch this? 
Okay, just like this. You javelin throw it. You have to balance it by the back and you just javelin throw the thing. All right, ready? Let's see. <laughs> it's tail heavy, but it's flying with no nose. <laughs> it's tail heavy. It, it, it wants to climb. <laughs> it's, it's flying though. It is flying fine as a noseless. I cannot see a thing. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm losing orientation of it. It flies great though. Okay. I think this is a little bit silly of me to be doing this, um, but this is a 1500, 1500 PLA airplane. Uh, it's a, it's a PLA jet, which is kind of unheard of. You, you can't print this stuff in PLA. No nose. It flies good with no nose. <laughs> it just needs those canards there for a lifting surface. But how fun is this? This is incredible. Seriously, though, I printed this thing. Um, I printed this thing in, I think, 12 or 13 hours. I can't recall exactly how long. I, I should do the, uh, I'll do an estimated time um, again on it. Look at this thing come in with no nose. <laughs> I hope my camera or my, uh, my iPhone is picking this up better than I can see it. Right now, I just see something black that looks like a Vigan. Uh, and I'm kind of just waiting to see what happens when I pull back on the stick because I'm not really sure what orientation is what. Um, get it in close. Now it lands a little bit faster than, um, a little bit faster than the, uh, what do you call it? Than the lightweight version of the 64. And I'm sure if you guys printed this 50 in lightweight, um, it would be, oh, that almost hit me in the head. <laughs> when you can feel the wind go by your face. All right, I'm going to bring this in. I don't really want to trash this thing too bad. Um, I'm going to just bring it in. Beautiful. I am really blown away, guys. This is a, this is a, a thing that I did not think I would be able to do. Now, I don't know the real difference is I, I could be too much of a novice on this stuff, but, um, but PLA plus versus, uh, versus regular PLA. I'm not quite sure. Um, I read somewhere, this is the, um, the e -Sun PLA plus in some kind of uh, gray. Uh, sorry. I'm just, I'm really frozen right now. It's like 25 degrees. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, they said that it's lighter than regular PLA. I don't know if that's true or not. You can, you can figure that out. Um, but uh, yeah, let me, let me wrap up this video because I'm sure you don't want me to keep rambling. But seriously, look how, look how small it is compared to my, uh, compared to my uh, transmitter. The thing is ultra tiny. It's like really tiny. I'll give you a measurement later. Um, Anybody can print this. You just print it on any printer and it's going to print fast. And especially if you have a new printer like a bamboo, you're printing this thing. You could print. I mean, I, I might even sell these things to people. They're so small. They can go in a box. I might build them and I can I can mail them to somebody if they don't have printers because this thing flies so good. It flies just like the regular Vigan, just slightly heavier wing loading. I want to do this in, in P, lightweight PLA also because it's going to be phenomenal and so tiny. So. I'm going to get this video out to you guys and, uh, and I'll see you on the next one.